Welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how you can fix Microsoft Flight Simulator if you get this error when you start the game. So I'll just quickly show you what the error is. If I press on Microsoft Flight Simulator, I'll get this. The app can't open. Microsoft Flight Simulator can't open because it's offline. The storage device might be missing or disconnected. You're going to think to yourself, I've not done anything with my hard drive. What's this all about? And the reason why you're getting that message is because you paused it when it's updated to Sim Update 6. So I did actually pause it, left it for a few days, tried to open it, thought it would automatically re-download, but it's not. So make sure you've got the Xbox app open. So uh, quickly open the Xbox app. You can actually update it this way. You can see if I press it now, it's gonna come up with the same thing. And you can see, as soon as I press the game, you can see where I paused it. So I paused it at 9.2 megabyte. So it's just over 523 megabyte and then you could be able to start the game and then it's going to update again. So that's the reason why you're getting it. If you go onto Microsoft Store, because you'll probably do it this way, you go to Library, and this is Windows 11 as well. You can see ready to download. Uh, you'll press Get Updates because you'll think, hold on, there should be an update. It won't actually do anything because the system is currently up to date. So I'm going to hit Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm going to press Play again, and it comes up with the same prompt. And then you'll see reinstall and you'll think to yourself, I'm not reinstalling the whole game. It's definitely on my hard drive. What it'll do, send over you to the Xbox app. So make sure you've got the Xbox app. And then I'm just going to hit that. Go over to here and resume the download. And now it is re-downloading. So, so as soon as that is downloaded, I'll be able to open up the game and then I'll be able to update the sim to sim update six. So if you are having that problem, and it's asking you to reinstall the game. All it's asking you to do is to actually just reinstall where you paused the actual update. So I'm gonna wait for this to download and then I will open up Microsoft Flight Simulator and then we're gonna be able to update the sim. Microsoft Store or the Xbox app, either way, I'm gonna hit X Hit X off that. I'm going to press Microsoft Flight Simulator. And there you have it. Now I can download Sim Update 6, which seems quite reasonable for the update, just under five gigabyte. Uh, if you are having problems, remember you haven't got to download the game. It's probably because you've paused it when the update came out or you there was an interruption with your internet connection. So uh, no need to fret, you haven't got to download the 160 whatever gig the actual game is. It's just paused it, you need to make sure your Xbox app is open. Go into the Microsoft Store, press play. It'll come up with that prompt, it'll say reinstall. Just press reinstall, you haven't got to reinstall it, you just got to reinstall the actual update. If you're new around here, I do need Microsoft Flight Simulator tutorial, so please leave a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, it really helps the channel out, and I shall get back to you with another one. Thanks for watching.